afternoon. Welcome to the 2008 Youth for Understanding Alumni Chorale Reunion Concert. My name is Daniel Berry, and I toured with the chorale twice. First to South America with the Michigan Chorale in 1966, and then to Europe in 1967 with the recently renamed Youth for Understanding Chorale. This year is the 50th anniversary of the first Michigan Youth Chorale, and this is our final reunion concert. Maybe. <laughs> Put an asterisk next to that. A couple of hours ago, there was talk. That's all I'll say. There was talk. <laughs> Whether it's our last reunion concert or not, we're delighted that you've joined us. We are all here today because in 1958, the Youth for Understanding Corral, originally called the Michigan Corral, was started by Rachel Andresen, the founder of Youth for Understanding, and Lester McCoy, its conductor for the first six years. Robert Pratt succeeded Mr. McCoy in 1964 and continued until the chorale program ended in 1973, and of course, continues to this day. Our chorales were made up of outstanding high school students from Michigan and Ohio who were thoroughly auditioned for musical ability and character. <laughs> That's what they told us, anyway. <laughs> After rehearsing from November to June, we embarked on a seven or eight week tour, generally alternating each year between South America and Europe. We performed in cathedrals, opera houses, and concert halls, in prestigious festivals, on national radio and television networks, a few airport lobbies, public squares, border crossings, and in countless school cafeterias. <laughs> Our programs consisted of serious classical music, contemporary music of the United States, folk and show music of our country, and of course, music of the lands we visited, always performed in the language of that country. As exchange students, we were housed with host families to gain a better understanding of the countries we visited. We used the universal language of music to bridge cultural differences. While the music hasn't changed since our youth, the instruments we use have. We perform on modern instruments, a bit larger and with an extra coat of varnish, with a rich romantic sound tempered by age and usage. We trust you will enjoy the vintage. All 16 chorales are represented today, and we've come from 31 states and four foreign countries. 170 Corral alumni are on the stage this afternoon, with dozens more in the audience, 213 in all. There are many more men and women all over the world who can't be here with us today, except in spirit, and our thoughts have been with them these past few days. And inevitably, there have been some who have passed on all too soon, but who remain alive in photographs and in our memories, frozen in time, still 17, and 18, full of enthusiasm and hope. 